So who here isn't having great communication, at having their mind understand they want to be really healthy and fit and have a great diet and not eat cake or pizza? Okay, so this is bad communication with the brain. I'll give you a quick demo. So you're in a restaurant and you go, oh my God, they have pizza. I love pizza, but I'm on a diet. And your brain goes, pizza? Hey, you've got to eat the pizza, you love pizza. No, I'm on a diet. Yeah, but last time you went, oh my God, this is better than sex. Your brain's like, eat the pizza. No, I'm, I'm having salad. Your brain's like, salad? When did that ever give you intense pleasure? Eat the pizza. And now you go, now I feel really bad. I've eaten the pizza, I feel guilty. Your brain's like, have more pizza. That's why we call it comfort food. And now you go, now I feel fat, I feel guilty, I feel bad. And your brain's like, have a beer. Have some ice cream. Because what you've done is your brain does what it thinks you want. And when you go, I want pizza, but I need to be thinner. I want ice cream, but on a diet, you just crank up the desire. This is how you get it right. Really easy. Same situation. Oh, they have pizza. Yeah, it does look nice. But you know what looks really nice? Pizza looks nice, but what looks really nice is when I get on the scales every day and I'm my perfect weight, when my clothes look great. And your brain's like... No, you love pizza. Yeah, I thought I loved pizza, but actually I love being fit and healthy. Really? Really? And just so you know, I'm going to use words like it thrills me to eat salad. It delights me to take control of my health. It makes me feel good. When I'm 95, I can eat pizza right now. I want to look really hot in my underwear. Maybe out of my underwear too. And when I'm 95, that door is shut. So right now, I'm going to choose to be thin. I'm going to choose to feel great. And your brain goes, oh, yeah, I get that. I get that.